welcome back to another episode of Timothy Long Blacksmithing Season 2. Uh, today we'll be working on the chopper. Now, I'm going to be taking from this little bit of angle iron right here, that has so far served me pretty well. See, this here was my knife knife. Took off a bit. But what I'm going to be doing this time is I'm going to be making a chopper knife. It is to complement the other knife that I've made, and you know, it's, it's gonna look pretty nice. You know, it's gonna have a bit of a drop to it on the back end. The blade is gonna be the longest part of it, the back end is actually gonna drop in, so it's gonna look pretty cool. Maybe I'll draw it out. I don't know. Maybe I'll just put it up here. We'll see. Anyway. So that's what I plan on doing, and you know, I could cut it out of this, I could just cut the shape out. Where is the artistry in that? Where is the technique in that? Where is the fun in that? This is Timothy Long blacksmithing, not Timothy Long stock removal. So, with that, I guess it's time to remove some stock from the stock. this piece cut out, I'm going to preheat it to get off all this coating so that when I put it in the forge it gets easier to breathe in here. So I'm going to ventilate the garage, burn off all the coating, and then throw it in the forge. Well, as you can see, I've got this forge going full blast right now, and it is doing nothing. It is not making a whole lot of noise, which means I'm almost out of propane, which is not good because I'm just starting this project. It's going to take me a little bit to get more propane. So, we only got about this far before I ran out of propane. It's not a permanent problem, but it does put a halt to my plans for now. So. I'm going to start working on some other stuff, maybe catch up on the Jandao that I'm doing, and uh, hopefully I'll actually get some work done on it. But uh, for now, it's going to be a hiatus on this. Hopefully, it, uh, hopefully I can pick it back up pretty soon. Alright guys, well it is the next day and I have to say I'm disappointed in myself. I'm disappointed in myself because I did not think to use some of the extra propane cans I have in here even though it's barely yeah you probably can't even see them i mean there's a lot of junk in there so yeah but there are propane tanks in there little ones spares uh i used to use those instead of big five gallon down there uh i'd switch to the five gallon because it's a lot more consistent lasts a whole lot longer but i do have spares so i think i'm going to actually start using that and keep going on the knife Man, this brings back some serious memories. I haven't used one of these things in, like, two years. More than that. Uh, a little less than two years, actually. I think the most astounding thing here is that it actually works like this. It actually set up pretty well. So, I guess with that, it's time to get going on this. Which means... One of these bad boys. <laughs>
as you just saw, I just did a little bit of stock removal just to flatten out these surfaces right here and also to take out that little weld that was forming or more accurately the non-weld that was forming and uh, it's looking pretty good so far, you know, I cleaned up the sides a little bit, you know, not a whole lot just because this isn't Timothy Long's stock removing uh, so I've got this right here. Now I could technically stock remove my way into a knife here, but I don't want to cut with Nevada over here, I want to cut with Nevada on a stick. So I'm going to forge out the tang, hopefully that goes well. We'll see where it goes, you know, I'm, as you see I'm using the cross peen hammer to do this because it's got a small striking surface, which means that all the weight is going into this instead of going into this whole big thing right here making it a lot more of an effective striking tool than, well, this surface. So, I'm going to toss it back in the forge, fire it back up, and then I'm just going to pound this bad boy down and uh, we'll see where it goes. guys, so as you just saw, I just finished the quench on this and it turned out really well. There was a warp in the blade and it was coming off this way, but I was able to pound that flat before it sunk in too much. So I'm really encouraged by that. Um, the bevel seems to have come out nice. Everything about this seems to have worked out. Now originally this was going to be more of a Santoku sort of deal, but I decided this looks way cooler. And I think I'm actually going to keep this curve back here and this curve right here because it just looks great. Uh, what I am going to do with the tang though is I'm going to keep it about this length. I'm not going to try and draw it out any further. And uh, the reason for that is just because drawing it out, I wasn't able to actually get that much length out of it, unfortunately. So I'm just going to, you know, cut right there and there, cut that off on the back. And then I'm just going to trim route or something out for the handle and it'll be all good. But uh, yeah, you know, as far as everything else goes... This seems to have turned out pretty nicely, so, um, so yeah, I guess with that, we should call it an episode, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a great day.